the second phase, what what is it to you? Just just imagine, um, you know, like the, when, when the internet came, blogging became a thing. You know, pre-internet, very few people had a means by which they could put out their thoughts out to the world, right? You know, with the internet came a new medium, it allowed people to create and express themselves in a new way. With mobile came cameras and you could shoot and like, you know, you could create videos. Um, you know, look at what, what's happened with YouTube. For me, the similar part of this is, you know, we're all talking about things like vibe coding. Yesterday you saw VO3, right? So we are now in that phase. I think people are going to be able to create AI applications, you can call it, but, you know, vibe coding, there are many names to it, but that, that power is yet to be unleashed. We're barely scratching the surface, right? And these models are now, you know, they aren't quite there. You can you can kind of do one shot coding, but you really need to know, be a programmer to kind of go iterate and create something with polish, right? But that frontier is evolving pretty rapidly. So I think we, you're going to see a new wave of things, just like mobile did, just the internet did. Uh, you know, I came to Google at the time when it was Ajax was the revolution. Uh, the fact that the web became dynamic, you know, you had things like Google Maps, Flickr, Gmail, all that suddenly came into existence, right? And, but I think AI is going to turbocharge uh, in a way we haven't seen before.